Today, we're back in my Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore World. And today, we have a very special goal. We're gonna upgrade our armor and our tools. Because simply put, we have all the day one stuff done. We got animals, we got a house, we got food, we got armor. But now it's time to upgrade. So first off, I need to make a diamond helmet. This gold thing will not do it. And luckily, in between episodes, I did a live stream where I organized this chest storage area. Like we got signs, we got barrels, it's all organized and neat. And we did some mining, and we got some diamonds. I'm going right over lava. This is horrible. This is a horrible decision. Guys, talk me out of this. Why am I doing this? This is the worst. This is how you lose a series. Yeah, I was so close to dying there. But uh, anyways, diamonds. So let's craft a helmet for ourselves, and boom. And we are officially all diamond out. Oh, also, I gotta make new tools. These are all gonna break. And by the way, the reason I'm doing all these upgrades today specifically is because very soon, I wanna fight the Ender Dragon. Like, I would absolutely love to go do the fight next episode, so no promises, but if we get good enough armor and good enough gear, we're gonna do it. Well, we're gonna try to do it. Again, no promises. Now, obviously, I wanna get better enchantments on this stuff too, because right now, these are all level one enchantments. But if I go into my enchanting room, we realize we don't have enough bookshelves to actually get max levels yet. So for get this dirt, we gotta go get some more bookshelves. And if I do quick math, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna say we need like 15 bookshelves total. So I know a place. If you guys remember, on episode two, we found a stronghold. And in that stronghold, we also found a library. And in this here book in front of my feet, I have the coordinates to said library right there. 10, 2000, all right. We're on the move. And by the way, if you guys are enjoying this series, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of water, so I'm gonna make a boat. And we set sail. A little pit stop for some free food. I recognize this place. Well, 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 what do we have here? I forget exactly how I got in. I don't know where the actual, like, entrance is. Oh, this might be it. The giant open tunnel. Got a water bucket for a reason. MLG! I'm so good. I think we found it. All right, this is exactly what we needed. All these books, gimme, gimme, gimme. I wish I had silk touch so bad right now, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain, free books. Okay, I mined a good portion of the books here, and I think we're all set. <laughs> That's a lot of ice cream sandwiches. No, but like really, those look like ice cream sandwiches, like exactly like them. Minecraft, update your textures, man. But now I can head back home. But on the way, I saw a village, and I found something pretty useful. Ooh, I can take you. I can brew potions now, look at that. I was just stopping by for some more food and look what I got. I don't think I'll ever make a wheat farm. Home sweet home. Now the question is, how many bookshelves can I make? I can make 10, that should be close to enough. I think I need 15, but let's see. Boom, boom, boom. And can we do it? Ah, 28. Couple more. If this video gets 500 likes, I will break this beehive. I'll probably be fine, but just do it. And kaboom, level 30 enchantments are here. Now, of course, that's all good and dandy, but I'm level 27. I don't have enough levels yet to even enchant stuff. So enter the next part of the episode. Down there, there's a giant cave, and in that cave, I found two monster spawners. So today, we're gonna try and make a dual XP farm. You heard me right, a double XP farm. This might be very annoying to build, but I'm gonna do it because I want XP. Also, totally forgot something. I gotta give Branson a name tag. Branson. There you go, live long and prosper. So now I'm gonna need a lot of materials. I know for a fact I need a lot of water, so I'll take two buckets, thank you very much. I'll need some soul sand, which I don't have. I'll be right back. Homie, I just spawned here. That's what you get. Aha, and check. And then finally, some signs and some trap doors. All right, we're going in. And while this cave may be ginormous, I know my way around it now. What, what, uh, what is going on down there? I think it's down this way. Well, I mean, if you insist, I guess I'll stop here and mine these. I mean, how could I say no? And right over here, and look at my memory, it's so good. So spider spawn is right there, then right over here, a zombie spawner. So my idea is if I flow them both like into like a middle area, maybe like somewhere over here, we can sit in the middle and have them both spawn. Okay. Okay, I'm making my attempt. Let's try this thing. So I'm gonna make my zombie farm first, then just again, try and flow them that direction. And I will shamelessly plug, I used to be a tutorial channel. So I got a pretty good idea of how I wanna build this thing. And if you wanna build it yourself in your own world, I'll put a link down below to my old tutorials. Disclaimer, they are cringe. I totally forgot how annoying it is to break blocks like this when you don't have enchanted gear. Cause this took so long to actually break out the area that of course the water was annoying. But by the end of all of this, I made a nice little stream and the mobs could flow properly. 
Okay, just doing the finishing touches on the zombie farm. All right, now time to give her a test. So I just gotta remove all the torches first. All right, zombies are spawning. That's great, that's great. Just close this off for now. And I run down here where I have a little bit of like a hangout room right in here. And they should drop right onto this block right here. It's been tested, so it should work. Okay, nothing yet, which is weird. I'm gonna bust in here and see what's going on. What are you guys doing? Oh, there we go. That that was weird. <laughs> I don't know why that worked, but it did. And there we go. They're spawning here, and I can one-hit them. Let's go. All right, zombie farm works fine. But reminder, I gotta check that water again, because that was kind of weird. But now on to the spider farm, which is going to be a little bit of an issue here. Because it's literally right like right underneath our little base camp down here. So I'm gonna try to make this work. It might not be perfect, but I will make it functional. So let's go. Obviously this farm was gonna be a lot harder to make because of the space constraints. But that being said, it was a really fun challenge to try and tackle. Okay, here's the thought process. Zombies go right here in this block and the spiders come right here to this block and they get stuck here. I don't know if it'll work, but let's go try it. Go back up here and find where the spider spawner is in this wall. Bingo, break the torches. If this works, I deserve an award. Okay, run back down. Please be stuck, please be stuck, please be stuck. Can you get me? <gasps> Guys, it works, it works. I made a dual spawner. Let's go, they can't get me. And I can sit right here in this corner and both of them are gonna spawn. Dude, this is insane. I know it's not some crazy elaborate design, but I'm so proud of myself for making this thing work. Let's go. The one downside, I cannot get the string. I'll probably need to get some hoppers for that. But uh, for right now, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Invisible spider jockey. That's interesting. Now all I gotta do is make this room a little bit bigger and then make a ladder system to get back up to the house. So I'll be right back. It took about four iron pickaxes, but I made a nice pathway to get home super easily. And boom, look at this. The ladders come right up in front of our other houses. So eventually I can make a little bit of like a, like a house here or something like that. But regardless, now I can get XP whenever I want. Now there's two things I gotta do. One is get more XP so I can actually go enchant my stuff. But two is I wanna actually decorate that little hangout room, that AFK room down there. Cause right now it's just a big blob of stone, pretty ugly. So I need some materials. Oh, I see you. What do you have for me, sir? Any good trades? Jungle, dripstone, cacti, nothing I really care about. Oh no, he despawned. And here we are. A little bit more spacious than before, but still pretty dull. So let's make it look a little prettier. And there we go, that is a lot better. We got some chests, we got a furnace, a crafting bench, and a nice floor. Also matching cobble on the walls and a deep slate roof. So it looks neat, it looks organized, and most importantly, I can get XP. So let's go do that and get to level like 40 something because I wanna re-enchant all my armor. So yeah, once again, I'll be right back. <laughs> Note to self, please get a Bane of Arthropod sword, please. All right, it's enchanting time. So first off, let's go unenchant all this level one armor because I don't need any of these anymore and now let's get to it first off let's do the chest like that seems like the most important one protection three probably not how about the boots protection three probably not future farzy here i don't know why i didn't take the protection threes those were really good pieces of armor how about the pants i'm breaking three helmet respiration three that could be handy and fire protection aqua vanity sure so right now we have fire fire blast normal if i can just get a normal protection here i'll be very happy please Please, 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 unbreaking. <gasps> protection, let's go, protection four, two. Oh, that is amazing. And that right there shall complete my set. Look at us, man. We got really good enchantments first try. I thought that was gonna take a lot longer, but I'm happy with that. That's amazing. Now, all that being said, what's the one thing I could do to make my armor better? You guessed it, netherite. So now it's time to go back over to the nether and we're gonna make an ancient debris mine. Now, normally for these kind of mines, you want to use TNT or bed. Do I have either of those? Forgot we don't use these chests anymore. All right, let's check it out. What do we have in here? Extra tools. Okay, I got some TNT. Flint and steel, of course. I don't think I have any extra beds, though. Can I make any more TNT? Oh, I got a lot of gunpowder, actually. I just need some of you. And that will give us... 17 TNT? Not gonna lie, I thought it'd be more, but whatever, that's fine. It'll be a short trip, but a good trip. All right, here we go. Gotta put that on for safety. And we gotta find a nice safe area to build this thing. Definitely not here, not here. And I guess if we dig down here, we could be okay. I'm gonna be extremely careful here. This is very risky because if there's lava above me, I am in trouble, but let's go for it. First one, go, go, do it, do it, do it. 
Oh, there's lava buff, lava buff, lava buff. So there's lava that way, so why don't I go this way? Let's go for it again, another small one. Are we good? Are we safe? Are we okay? We're good. All right, it's time for the big one. It's time we put down a bunch of TNT and make a big explosion. Ready, go. Come on, come on, come on. Anything? Hello? I don't see anything, man. That stinks. Oh, what a waste of all my TNT. Well, let's try it again. Oh, no. I was gonna say, let's try it again. Maybe this way instead. Please give me one. At least one. This is all my TNT. Please. Please. Anything? I don't see much. I see lava. I see a lot of lava. Oh, no. Well, guys, I'll be honest. I came ill-prepared. I thought I'd find ancient debris a lot easier than this, but apparently I was wrong. So I say maybe next episode we make a creeper farm back in the overworld so I can get gunpowder easily. Then I can find ancient debris a lot easier. So it stinks about the ancient debris today, but there's more things we have to do. We're gonna go on a little mini adventure today because I still wanna make some diamond tools. All I have is iron stuff and inside of here I only have two diamonds. So I'd love to get like a diamond pickaxe and enchant it, maybe a diamond sword too. So yeah, hey Branson, I need you. On second thought he's really slow he can stay here i got some boats lying around here in the ocean and we can take these bad boys and go let's go that way land i'll take it let's go Ooh, savannah village it's not a cave but it's cool hey there guys why is your farm what you got a water problem here guys hey hi do you know where any caves are no are you busy okay oh Oh, look at that, a monster spawner on the side of the ravine. That's actually so cool. I'm not going to use it because it's so far from home, but that's sick. Hello there, guys. How you doing? How you spawning? There's like light in here. Things were going so well, and then I died. Uh-oh. 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 I'm kidding, but once again, really close to death. I almost just died. That was the biggest trap ever. There were a million zombies in there. But you know what? I will not be defeated. I'm going back up. All right, torches, torches, torches. You can't spawn no more. Haha. -ha. Better be good loot in here. Golden apples. That's actually good loot. And you name tag gold. Sure. Back to the important task at hand. There's a giant cave down there. Oh, diamonds right there. Look at that. It could be a trap though. It's literally in the worst spot possible, but I'm gonna go for it. All right, please be more than one. Give me more than one. Yes! All right, I got two. That works for me. So right now I can make a pickaxe plus one more diamond. So if I can get one more, I can also make a sword. Oh, let's go. More diamonds. And I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Let's go. Are we secure? Are we safe? We're going for it. Boom. One. That's all I need. That's fine. Is that a mine shaft above me? And there's diamonds right there too. Just got to be careful and be safe. Gimme, right, gimme, 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 gimme. One more. Fine. Okay, this is where I'm pushing my luck because there's poisonous spiders in there that could eat my face off. So I'm going to be out of here so fast. Okay, you know what? I'm getting nervous. I'm just going to leave because the number one rule of gambling is no one to walk away. And I know it's time to... I swear I just heard a spider. All right, I'm digging up. I don't care. Bye. Home sweet home. Now we can make our new diamond tools. So let me pop inside of here and let me get to a crafting. So diamond pickaxe for sure. Then I'll hop back inside of here and grab my other two diamonds and I shall make a diamond sword. And now time to enchant it up. All right, give me something really good here. We got efficiency four. I will take that. Gimme, gimme. That's it. I wanted more than that. Oh, I should have just made two diamond picks. That would have been so much smarter, actually. <laughs> Hold on one second. I might have an enchanted book in here somewhere. Enchanted books. Do I have something I can put on the pickaxe? Impaling, luck of the sea. Eh. Oh, I also could just go enchant books and try and get like unbreaking or something for my pick. I'm gonna do that. Ooh, feather falling. Yes. This is actually a really good idea for getting good enchantments. Ah, sweeping edge or looting. Ah. Well, after a little bit of work, I got some good enchantments. On my boots, I put on feather falling three. On the pickaxe, I got fortune and unbreaking one. And on the sword, I only have sharpness, but eventually I can also put on sweeping edge and knockback two. But right now, that's all the XP I have for today. And speaking of which, that's that's going to be all I have for today as well. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.